What's up, y'all? In this video, we're going to talk about hole saws, specifically drill hogs, Linux, and Milwaukee's bulldozer, hole dozer, hole saws. Now, I've always used Milwaukee or Linux, and it really just depends on whichever one I'm closest to. I like the fact that you can just run to the store and get it. In this video, we are talking about 10 to 20 ish dollar uh, hole saws. So, we're not talking about the highest end stuff. We're talking about stuff that's easily available. Well, back a while ago, I had ordered some stuff from Drill Hog. Some of, one of them being a step drill that caps out at one inch. And in that video, I explained it's pretty hard to find this in the industry. They all either go under one inch or over one inch. And when locksmiths are drilling, latch holes sometimes we have to expand it this bit makes a for pretty much for me a perfect uh, way to get that hole a little bit bigger um and since then drill hog also sent me uh out of the blue i think on somebody's word here from youtube they sent me a 16th inch to quarter inch cobalt drill set in a metal case with a uh, sizer jig so while I'm helping that customer, I do want to point out the shirt says actual locksmith. The A was covered up during filming and I didn't notice. You can get this shirt and others along with hats and mugs and all sorts of stuff at lockforce.store. That is the store for the channel. It also offers memberships and you get first dibs on stickers that are mailed out randomly and behind the scenes stuff, which admittedly I'm a little bit behind on the behind the scenes stuff for the store. But we appreciate you visiting it and checking out some of our merchandise. One of the dangers is trying to film while I'm uh, trying to keep the shop open too. Uh, 16th to a quarter inch. They sent me these out of the blue on somebody's word. City Lock said that he may have mentioned our channel. Uh, and I really like these bits, the cobalt bits. I really like the case. It's really sleek and it fits in your tool bag in a pocket really well for me anyway. And uh, this... It'd be kind of cool to like integrate this into that somehow. Uh, anyway, that's not about this because those were good products. I was looking through their website and I was like, you know, they do have two and an eighth inch hole saws with mandrels, pilot bits, and spade bits as well. So this is a staple in locksmithing. We drill a lot of holes for installing new locks on doors. And I've always used the dozer or again, the Linux. Now, the other day I had an issue, about a month ago, I had an issue where I was drilling a one inch hole with a Linux bit and the quarter inch snapped right off and caused the wood to scar. I'll put a picture up here. I was not real happy about that. I've never had a pilot bit snap that I can remember. Uh, luckily the plate covered the uh the scarring on the door but yes and when you're working on metal doors you have to be extraordinarily careful for things you know i may have just been going too fast any number of things could have happened the moons could have been in alignment the drill bit could have had a weakened part so i was like let's go ahead and get the two and an eighth inch and their mandrel and their pilot bit just to give it a try well you know, tooth pattern, if you look at a new Milwaukee, and before I get into that, they've also gone to the carbide teeth. They're like really pushing on the carbide teeth, uh, Milwaukee bits. And it has a coarser tooth pattern and deeper as well. So we have the two different ones right there. Yes, two different ones right there. That's uh, the new, the, the carbide tooth versus the regular whole sauce. The regular hole dozers held up really well anyway, and I was really hesitant about that tooth pattern. And it, bringing up the tooth pattern, we're going to compare the, the Linux bit tooth pattern to the drill hog bit. It's pretty, pretty identical tooth pattern, how it's cut. Uh, it could almost be the same thing. Now, to the bad part about these bits that I don't like, the biggest part about the 2 and an eighth inch bit is, is just a little bit shallower than all the other ones. Not even a little bit. It's, it's kind of a lot shallower. There's literally one thing that a 2 and an eighth inch bit's used for in anywhere. And, and that's 
door locks. That's to cut out and install door locks. Two and eighth inch is the standard now, and it has been since like the 80s, 70s era. So why make a bit that's a little bit shorter? Not only is it shorter, but on the inside is the mandrel tip. Now, this mandrel works a little bit differently than these do. Well, let me back up. There's like two different kinds of mandrels. You unscrew this, and this slips open, and you just unscrew the bit there. That's the hole dozer size. You have to get the right size. So this mandrel and this mandrel, one of these two, I believe, it comes off. There are also bits that come fully assembled like this Linux, where you get the hole saw, the two and an eighth inch bit, and the mandrel all put together on one thing. Nope, this one is a separate one. So you can switch out the bit with this one. Okay. This came in a package they used to not be able to, and, uh, and or some of them just won't, but this one obviously will. Uh, that's a pretty weak connection. That's why you really need a little bit bigger stabilizer and that's why this mandrel is more suited for this size bit than it is for one of these bigger bits that makes that connection eh, not as not as secure as one of these the screw in portion and uh, we'll go ahead and take it off you have a little set screw on the side here i don't want to lose this set screw but you do have to like back it out a fair amount little bitty tiny flathead on top of its set screw uh, to get this to unscrew and and the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have to switch out this blade and on that topic here we go barely okay so yeah and then you take that and then unscrew it from here so see those extra little pegs help stabilize it for sure uh, the bad the problem is is I ordered a replacement one of their hole saws this one's done about 20 ish doors okay the bad things is, is this sticks out too far on the inside of an already shallow bit which makes it come to a hard stop up against wood now some people are like well you don't go all, you, you, whenever you're doing hole saws or any bit for that matter you don't want to slip that back in and then this is like a ball bearing retainer that goes in it goes in a, uh, a groove cut in there. So once you tighten this down, it falls in that groove and stabilizes it. A little bit different than everybody else's. Everybody else's either just unscrews or or unscrews. And, and also, you can all, you can all switch, switch out the bits on all of them. Uh, as far as using a Milwaukee bit in a Linux, uh, they're all quarter inch bits. Some of them have specific little cutouts on the edge. Another problem, again, like I was saying, is if we measure this to the top of the teeth, it's right about there, and we hold that up to an inch and three-eighths door cut out, and that's right there at the edge. So what happens, and, I, and you can see it on some of these, you can see the burn marks where it hit and stopped. You can see it more specifically on some of the uh, inch and three-quarter door. Uh, so what that does is it makes you stop sooner when you're drilling through. You have to, I don't know if this is going to work or not because it's a brand new bit and I probably won't. Yep, there we go. So, boom, and then it comes to a stop sooner than I would like. And some people might say, well, that's safer, Jason. That's a silly argument. It may be a silly argument, but when you've drilled as many holes as I have with two and an eighth inch bits, a silly argument is going to be a somewhat of a valid argument. Everything about these is very similar. You, you know, speed slot holes where you can shove a screwdriver in here and pop it out. Long story short, I'm not fond of how shallow the bit is. If it was deeper, maybe. But when I went to cut this, uh, I started off with eight doors that were wood. And I, I specifically kept track of this. Eight doors that were wood. Then I went to a metal skin door. It does not do good on metal. I've tried it on commercial doors. I've tried it on metal skin doors that are residential with wood behind it. Uh, it just is not, it's not in my opinion as good as, as the Milwaukee. That's more readily, readily accessible. You can just run to the store. They're one inch bits. All right, it's got a hole for wire pulling 
in theory, a spade bit, you would run it through a thing and then loop your wire through here and pull it back through. That's great, but as locksmiths, we're not using one inch bits for that. We're using one inch bits to hold, to do strikes and latches. So the holes were redundant and I bought them because it still had the tips. We did a video in the past along with that other video on the one inch step drill where uh, Irwin lost these two little tips on the side, which makes it really good to see the, it, it scribes the circle, it scribes the one inch diameter on the edge of a door and that really helps you before you go all the way. Before you full send, you're able to correct yourself, whereas when you lose the points, not so much. Uh, this just didn't last as long as I'd hoped it to do either. You know, they've got, Drill Hog has a, a lifetime warranty on breakage, uh, I just feel like both of these are not ideal. And I hate to say it because I like Drill Hog as a company. They send out specials on email all the time. You know, this is kind of a bad review. If you do nothing but wood uh, and maybe inch and three eight doors all the time, maybe. I keep these two always in my truck. Uh, sometimes because I'm drilling multiple holes and I'll drill some with one and then go to the other. That way this one will just cool down naturally on its own. Uh, as I start to see it get hot, I'll switch bits either or. Uh, and this, depending on material, I like the Linux because of the fine tooth for wood more. I like the Diablo, the uh, whole hog, whatever these are called, Milwaukee ones. I like them better for steel door installations, which you can double this amount from just steel doors, but I don't keep rings there's no point in that going back to the carbide tooth i will give milwaukee preps they saw me post something about uh not liking the weld seam i'd ordered this guy and it has a really really bad weld seam right there yeah again these are ten dollar bits you get what you pay for yeah, yeah yeah they were nice enough to send me the carbide tooth i was really hesitant about that because it's a much coarser tooth and do i have one out here uh yes much coarser tooth deeper uh i still feel like this cuts a little bit cleaner but this one works i mean when it's you know it's it's a rough hole saw on it last time i posted a, a video I've, I've learned that you know people are like why are you complaining about such a minor thing all you have to do with a shallower bit is just go, don't go as far and then come around from the other side force of habit i don't know i just feel like it'd be better if if this was a little bit deeper you know or that didn't stick out as far any number of things i, I would consider some improvements on that but anyway that's just my opinion and my opinion sometimes doesn't matter at all but i wanted to make a video about it while i was switching out uh to new drill bits because i needed to replace several two and eight inch bits all three of these are going to go in the truck and i'll use this for wood and wood and that for metal and uh until next time, if you have any questions or comments on this video or any other ones, I would recommend, again, just as a parting shot, to try out their Cobalt Bits set. Uh, if not a set, you can order 10. And in, in our case, after you, receive, after you receive your set, and invariably you'll take out like one of them, and then it gets like dropped in a tool bag somewhere. And so then you notice which which ones you use the most of and can order quantities of 10 both to refill this and to keep in other flights so like 3 sixteenths i do a lot of 3 sixteenths rivets so i ordered a bag of 10 of the cobalt bits in the 3 sixteenths size and that's pretty common size along with like the 764 and the 530 seconds for pilot hole purposes uh, and of course quarter inch we put quarter inch holes and in everything so anyway that's it, it that, the one limitation is Locksmiths do use a lot of 3 8 inch bits. So you have this and you're missing that one 3 8 inch bit uh, to do uh, like trilogy installations and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next video. All right. This is a far from scientific test, but we've basically marked each one of these bits one inch down. And then we're going to throw a stopwatch up as soon as the tip hits the wood. And go. We do need to get our safety goggles for this so the internet doesn't yell at me. Uh, basically, we're just going to go boop, boop, boop and see which one goes fastest, uh, which is not, this isn't a race, y'all. This is not a race to do things. So 
I just don't want you to think that it's being the fastest is the important part of this. Way more important to get it right rather than being fast. Uh, so here we go. And one, two, three. You do have to frequently clear out shavings, so you got to take that into account. All right, next up is the Linux to the one inch mark. Try to use the same amount of uh, shaving clearings. We have the Milwaukee holdover. Just by uh, feeling it, I think that one went quicker. There's a lot more open cutouts, so I feel like it chip cleared a lot easier. Uh, some, may, some people might think that makes it weaker, but if you, if, mm, it's probably not. And there we go. Now Jason has to sweep. <laughs> 